Hello, Interneters. Well, today I'm going to talk about the fact that almost everybody getting a website made today is being ripped off. And I'm going to use Rodney's website here, Rodney's Restaurant. Dot com website hopefully get some hits because the web developer put this together for him uh, certainly isn't going to get him any. Well, if you see here, you may have not noticed before, I have a tool here called the Alexa Toolbar and it tells me the Google ranking for any website that I go on. If you're interested, go to alexa.com slash toolbar and click on this little button and you will have the same tool for free just like me. But back to Rodney's Restaurant. First off, when a search engine comes to your website, it cannot read images. So if you have a word and it is in actuality an image, like Rodney's name here, Google will never be able to read that. Also, if the links to everything on your website is an image, also Google cannot read that and properly index your website. So we basically have a website that is completely impossible to read. That's bad. What's worse? If you go to another website, it's called rankquest.com, and you click on a little tool called the links view. Let me zoom in here. And you type in your website address and hit spider it. It will tell you exactly what Google sees when they come to your website. Well, Mr. Rodney, Google will see these four lines. Doesn't tell you much, tells you it's Rodney's website, tells you there's Easter reservations, but there are no links, there is no content, Google will not be able to easily spider its little way through your website and index you properly, hence nobody will ever go to your website. What else is wrong with this website? No, it does not end right there. Let's click on View, and let's click on Page Source. If you look up here, in between these heading areas, you should have something called a description. You should have keywords along with links and all kinds of information. What did this web developer put on here? A title. That's it. A title. So Google knows nothing about your website and obviously this person's not using keywords because there are no words on the website. All it basically is is a bunch of images and Google cannot read images. Hence, it will never do well. What also is, is this website missing? Something called a sitemap.xml file. By the end of this video, you will have one. What is it also missing? A robots.txt file. By the end of the video, you also have that. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how to install XML sitemap generator. And just so you know, a sitemap.xml file is used to inform search engines what is important on your site, how often they should visit your site, and how often you change your site. And what is great about this plugin is it will notify automatically all the search engines that you tell it to every single time you change your website in any way. So what you want to do is if you have a WordPress uh, website, you want to go to your dashboard within your WordPress account. If you don't know what that means, you can check out the introductory WordPress account. You want to click on Add New. Then here you want to type in Sitemap and hit Search Plugins. First one's going to pop up is Google XML Sitemaps. You want to click on Install, which is right there. And then it will install. Then you want to click on Activate Plugin. And then in your Settings tab, you can select Google XML Sitemaps, or you can simply click on Plugins, and it will show you a list of all your plugins. And you want to click on Settings. Now this window will pop up for you. Zero in here. I've already generated a sitemap right in this area. You're going to see that no sitemap has been generated. You want to click on the link that says Generate Sitemap or Rebuild Sitemap. Then what you want to do is register over on Bing so that Bing knows your website exists. You want to go to this address right here, www.bing.com forward slash webmaster. This page will pop up. You obviously need to sign in. Whenever you do, you can see here I have five websites registered on Bing. You are not going to have any more than likely, so you want to click on Add a Site. And this page is going to pop up here. The most important part is where it says Download XML Verification File. Don't need you don't need to worry about what these all this information means. Just follow the steps. Live Search Site Auth XML. You're going to download that when you click on this link. 
Then what you want to do is jump into some FTP software. This is FileZilla, for example. Here you would type in the, your website address, your username, and your password. Hit Quick Connect. Find that file on your personal computer and then upload it to your website. You can see it right here. After you do that, once you cite the list, which is down here, then you want to come onto this page, click on Site Maps, and then you want to type in your your website address forward slash sitemap.xml, and then hit on Submit. And now you are registered with Bing. Okay, now we're going to set up your account with Yahoo and Google. Set up Google Analytics and create your sitemap and set up your Google Analytics plugin with WordPress. All right, now what you want to do is go to developer.yahoo.com, everything.html, and of course you need a, Google, a Yahoo account. You know, click on Get an App ID. The reason I have all these preloaded is because there's all kinds of information I don't that's uh, private. Fill in all the information that you see here on this page. There will be your Yahoo ID and all the information on your website. Then you want to hit continue. And it'll give you your application ID. It's a long string of numbers and symbols. You want to copy that and then jump back into WordPress. And right down here, if you look, where it says notify Yahoo about updates of your blog, you want to paste it into your application ID right there. And you can see here I have it blocked out. Then you want to scroll to the bottom of that page. Again, this is back in your WordPress account. I always set my home page to daily and my post to daily. And then you want to hit update options. And then you have your sitemap all set up. And then jump back in here. You want to click on finished back on Yahoo. And it will show you all of your application IDs for everything that you have uh, notified Yahoo about. Then what you want to do is go to Webmaster Tools, that's google.com webmaster forward slash tools. Click on that. Of course you need a Google account, so you want to sign in. Here you'll, you'll see I have a whole bunch of websites, but you may not. You want to click on add a site. What I do here, especially for WordPress, this works easiest. You click on this box until you see upload an HTML file. Then you want to click on this to download that file, and then you want to upload it to your website. Again, using a tool such as FileZilla, you would upload that to the root folder of your WordPress account. <clears throat> After you upload it, you want to click on Verify. Then what you want to do to set up Google Analytics is go into the My Account section within Google, since you have an account, click on that or you would click on settings, whatever is on the page, it's one or the other. Then what you do is you come down here, there's your webmaster tools, just so you know, click on analytics. Here again, I have a whole bunch of websites set up, all with uh, ID numbers, all blacked out. In your case, you're gonna see one of these sites uh, listed with a UA code, so UA dash with a whole bunch of numbers after it. You wanna make sure you copy the corresponding UA code for whatever website you're trying to set up with analytics. Jump back over into WordPress, go into add new plugins, type in Google Analytics, search plugins, then you want to come here and to Google Analytics for WordPress, go over here and click on install. This is going to pop up, you want to click on install now, which is right here. Then you want to activate the plugin. And you will see Google Analytics for WordPress is all set up. You can click on Settings. Cut and paste your UA code that you got from over on Google. And then click on Update Google Analytics Settings. And you are basically set up after that. Everything's all set up with Bing, Yahoo, Google. And you have all of your different uh, plugins all set up properly. When you hit Update Google Analytics Settings, and everything after a while, you'll see under View Report next to the new web page that you created and set up for analytics, in my case, homeinforsale.com, you'll see a little uh, watch face. Once you see that, you know that it has found your sitemap, it knows where you're located, and every search engine knows that you exist. I hope that helps you a ton. Hopes you, more importantly, save a ton of money.